Hey, it's Kyle here, and it is not long until Valhalla's release. But will the game be a success? Now, there are many ways to measure success for a video game, whether that's the copy sold, the critics' reception, or even the awards it wins. And I will get into all of them a bit later. But with Valhalla, there's a lot of layers to peel. Firstly, you have the hardcore Assassin's Creed fans' expectations who are craving a proper Assassin's story and the return of Assassin's Creed mechanics such as social stealth. You then have newcomers to the series who are solely interested in the Viking elements, such as the battles, the raids and whatnot. Adding to that, there will also be plenty of newcomers who are interested in the Norse mythology side of the game, and having played God of War, I'm sure they will have very high expectations. So how will Valhalla please all three of these target markets in order to succeed as a video game? To put it simply, it has to nail all three of them. Now, that's easier said than done of course, but I am encouraged by what I've seen so far. As we know that there is a hidden one and order of the ancient story arc in the game. So the fact that there are actually assassins in the game, or hidden ones, whatever you want to call them, is already a big plus for long time fans. How they deliver this arc though is yet to be seen and extremely important for its potential success. Because if it just feels like a backstory, there will be a lot of backlash, let me tell you. I also think a lot of long term fans want this arc to really mean something in terms of the lore and the history of the two factions. And not just a standalone story with no real substance for the series future. The game also has to feel like an Assassin's Creed game. And with the return of social stealth it may well be enough to satisfy long term fans. Depending on how it's implemented I guess. So there are some very good signs even before launch. As for the Viking elements, it's clear for everyone to see that the game is going to be very heavy on them. I mean anyone interested in Vikings is going to love this game it seems. From the feasts and the drinking games to the battles and raids there's plenty to get your axe into. So I think Ubisoft are very confident that they will please this side of the target market. After all look at the slogan. I mean, Valhalla seems more Viking orientated than the Amazon Prime show Vikings. But the only thing that I think may let it down are the raids and battles. I've got a feeling that they might be a little repetitive, but I hope not for all those Viking fanatics. Now, with the inclusion of the Seer at the settlement, Norse mythology is going to be explored throughout. It's certainly an interesting way of introducing places like Asgard. Because will these psychedelic trips resonate with the player the way it did with God of War? Where you're actually in the real world facing the gods themselves? I don't know yet of course, but as I said earlier, players who played God of War will have very high expectations for the Norse mythology parts of Valhalla. And again it has to deliver on this for this game to be well received. And that is the challenge for Valhalla, it has to deliver on all three of the fronts I've mentioned if it wants to have universal acclaim. So in terms of the combat I am both concerned and encouraged because it does seem to suit a lot of playstyles which is great but so did Odyssey and some of the abilities such as man's best friend seem a bit ludicrous if you ask me. Now I'm not really having a go at Odyssey I actually had a lot of fun playing it but the game did have a lot of critics because of some of the overpowering abilities. The abilities do seem a bit more grounded in Valhalla which sounds a bit silly after seeing man's best friend. So I guess we'll just have to see how the critics react to it. Now as for the overall score of the game, anything below an 85 on Metacritic is deemed a bit of a failure now for some reason. Especially for a AAA game. So Ubisoft will be hoping for a score of 85 and above I would assume. I personally don't think the Metacritic average really matters in the grander scheme of things. I mean look at The Last of Us Part 2. The critics loved the game with 10 out of 10s everywhere but a huge amount of regular gamers did not agree to put it politely. But developers do love releasing those graphics with all the perfect scores and accolade trailers so for Ubisoft of course they see critics reviews as a measurement of the game's success and I believe it will get at least an 85 on Metacritic. In terms of the awards, I think the least they would expect is to be nominated for Game of the Year at the Game Awards, especially since Cyberpunk is now out of contention. Valhalla is a huge game with a massive budget so a Game of the Year nomination has to be the aim, and I'm sure that nomination is waiting for them. 
Now lastly, let's touch on the copy sold. Of course we won't know the figures for a while, but given the size of the game, I think Ubisoft will deem Valhalla a success if it delivers on all of the above and reaches 10 million sold. They will want to sell more without a doubt, but to match the sales of Origins and Odyssey will be the minimum requirement. Whether this happens or not is another question entirely given what's going on in the world. But 10 million would be a very solid amount indeed. So with all that said, the closer we get to Valhalla's release, the more excited I'm getting. There are certainly so many encouraging elements to this game. It's just whether the game tries to please so many people or not. But I trust in Darby McDevitt and the Montreal team. I believe it will strike the perfect balance between the long-time fans of the series and the newcomers. So to answer my question, I believe it will be a huge success. These are very exciting times for the series and I can't wait to find out what Valhalla has to offer. Well that's it guys, thank you very much for watching my video, don't forget to like, subscribe and see you soon.